If you want to learn how to use N8N to build AI automations, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll show you exactly how you can build AI automations using N8N, which is a free open source platform that is super, super powerful. It's by far one of the most customizable and powerful softwares out there. And if you stick around, I'll actually show you my secret way of getting it basically for free by self-hosting on your own VPS. If you try and get N8N on their website, it costs like $24 a month, but I'll show you a really easy workaround. And this is exactly how I set up my own AI automation. So yeah, if you're a beginner and you want to learn exactly how to do it, make sure you watch until the end. So first of all, what is NAN? Well, it's an open source automation tool. Think of it as something like Zapier, but more AI focused with a lot more flexibility. And the great thing about it is that there is no subscription needed. It's fully customizable and it can be self-hosted. You can build some insanely amazing and useful automations using it. And yeah, basically we can automate any type of workflow. For example, emails, databases, social media, AI chatbots, the list goes on. And if you aren't using AI automations like like this yet in your business or even in your daily life, you are missing out on a lot. I'm all about optimization. So I think everyone should do this because it's going to make your life and business a lot, lot better. So you guys click on the link down below. It's going to take you to the NAN website. Here we can check out the pricing. So basically this is the cost if you want to use NAN's own cloud hosting. If you want to do it monthly, it's a little bit more. So like I said, $24 a month. There's the pro plan that's $60 a month. And if you haven't signed up yet, yes, you can get one of these, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it right now and save like 70, 80%. So I'll have a special link down below. It's gonna take you to this exact landing page. And this is basically where we can get NAN VPS hosting for way, way, way cheaper. Make sure you get to this exact landing page because it's going to come with that NAN template built in. That's gonna save you a bit of time, but what we'll do is click on choose your plan. You can see they have a bunch of different options. For most of you watching this video, KVM1 or KVM2 is gonna to be totally good enough. This is essentially your own computer that's running all the time. There are some faster ones as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and choose KVM2 for this video. The reason why we are getting this VPS is because we are going to self-host NAN on it. And as a result, we're gonna save a lot of money. This is exactly what I do for my whole business. I have my own AI automations running directly on my own VPS through Hostinger. So that's just what I recommend using for anyone watching this video. It's by far the cheapest and fastest VPS out there for the price. And I have nothing but good things to say about them. So what I'm going to do is choose my period. If you're watching this video, I definitely recommend going with at least 12 or 24 months. The longer you choose, the longer you can lock in this low price for. And then definitely don't forget this, but make sure you click on have a coupon code and then enter in Charlie Chang. That's just my name. And that's going to give you an additional 10% off. So you might as well do that and save some money. We'll click on continue. After that, you'll enter in your billing address enter in your payments and then click checkout. Yeah, make sure you have this coupon code so you can save some more money. Now, once we're in our dashboard, this is what we're gonna do. NAN should already be installed as a template, but just in case it is not, let me show you real quickly. If you come here to operating system, you'll see your current application. So you can see NAN is right here. If it's not like that, you'll just come here, click on search OS, type in NAN, click on this, and then you're going to change the OS to it. That'll take a few minutes to install the new OS. And what we're gonna do then is click on manage app. Here's where we're going to set up our owner account. So I'm going to enter in my email. We'll click on next. We'll just click on get started. No need to answer these questions. I'm doing a fresh install just to show you guys the whole process and how easy it is. It might actually even be easier than setting up an account directly on NAN. Plus it's going to, like I said, save you so much money. So there's literally no reason not to do this. Now to activate all the paid features that we're getting for free using this community version of NAN, we're going to enter our email right here and click send me a free license key. So now now I'm going to copy and paste this license key, come back here. We're going to click on this, enter activation key, and we'll copy and paste that right here. Cool. So now our license is activated and we're pretty much good to go. So once you've got that set up, I'm going to show you a quick overview of what NAN is like inside. So if we come here, you can see we're in the workflows tab. This is all under the overview tab on the left. And this is basically where we can create workflows as well as create credentials. Once we start creating workflows, they're going to show up in this workflow tab here. If we click on credentials, it's going to show us credentials. And this is basically like connecting our account to different APIs so that we can actually connect different apps to any app. And here is the executions. We don't see anything right here because I haven't run anything on this brand new account. But once we start running different workflows, every time we execute it, it's going to show up here on this list. So if we come back here to workflows, we can click on start from scratch. And yeah, this is basically the workflow builder. There's always going to be one first step and we'll click on this plus button. We'll be able to choose different triggers 
triggers. So for example, we can choose something like on chat message. If we close out of this, essentially, We'll open chat, say hello. But since we don't have anything connected, like any APIs or whatever, it's not gonna give us anything back. What we're then gonna do is click on this plus button right here. And this is basically where we can build a whole branch of actions that happen once this trigger is activated. So I'm just gonna start over again and click on this plus button. Let's do something like on form submission. We can put different elements into this form and create some type of workflow. Now it can get a little bit complicated. And before I actually build this out, I wanna show you guys some of the different templates you can get access to through NAN. But later on in this video, I'll actually build a very simple workflow AI automation for you. And I really encourage you to actually follow along and build alongside me because that's going to make this a lot better to learn. If you go to the NAN website, I'm going to come here to product and then go to templates. And you'll be able to see that there are tons and tons of pre-built templates out there. So I know NAN is one of the more advanced platforms and it does take a little bit of time to actually learn. So if you are a beginner, I actually really recommend going to these automation templates. It's going to save you a lot of time and these are built by people. They work. And if we scroll down here, you can check out some of the trending AI templates. You can see some of the feature templates. Of course, this is going to look different depending on when you are looking at these. But let's say I want to find AI templates. I'll click on this. We can further search, right? So if you want an app with Google Sheets, we can click on that and you'll see a bunch of different templates we can actually import over into our NAN dashboard. It's going to tell you what it does, which apps it connects to. And so for example, let's say I want an AI powered short form video generator. It's going to use OpenAI, Flux, Kling, and Eleven Labs. So this is definitely one of the more advanced ones. But I just want to show you real quickly. If you come here, you can actually zoom in on this to see sort of like what it looks like. And yeah, as you can see, building this yourself would take quite a bit of skill and time. If we want to copy this template over into our dashboard, we're going to click on use workflow. It's going to know that you have your own self-hosted NAN. So we can actually click on this, but I'm just gonna show you real quickly. I'm gonna click on copy template to clipboard. I'm gonna go back to our self-hosted NAN, click on create workflow, and I'm just gonna paste it right here. So Apple V for me. And as you can see, now it's here and yeah, super, super easy. For a lot of these templates, it's gonna have a bit of like a user guide. And I do recommend reading through this. It's gonna tell you what API keys you need as well as any other uh, login credentials or whatever. And then you'll essentially just go through this and set it up step-by-step. Step. So you just can follow the directions. And at the end of you know finishing that, you'll have a working AI automation. As you can see, this is one of the more advanced ones. So you'll need to have quite a few API keys, but as you can see, it's super powerful. It does a lot of stuff. If we were to come back here to the templates, you can see there are a lot of other much more simple ones. And so what I recommend you guys do is just look through all these templates, see which ones work for your specific use case or needs, and then import those over into your NAN account. Now it's also very important for you to add your credentials to your account. As you can see, I already opened up my OpenAI account to do this you'll need to create an open AI account, load at least $5 into it so that you can actually start running things. And you'll want to create a test key. So I've gone ahead and done that, copied that. And that's basically what I copied over into this. As you build more and more workflows, you'll want to create more and more credentials because every credential is going to allow you to connect to a new app or service. So for example, you'll want your Google Sheets here, Gmail, anything else that you want to use. I'm not going to go into too much detail on how to create credentials, but there are some very dedicated guides out there that will show you exactly how to do it. So that's a broad overview of how you guys can import templates over into your NAN, how you can save a lot of time and not have to actually build things yourself. But to really understand how you can build your own custom AI automations and agents, as a beginner, I think it's really important to actually build something yourself so you sort of know what What's happening. So right now I'm in my actual NAN cloud account. This is a separate account. It's exactly the same as the self-hosted one. But the reason why I'm here is because I already have a bunch of credentials created. I don't want to add them again to my new self-hosted demo account. So I'm just going to use this one to build this for you. But I encourage you to do this alongside me. It's going to be exactly the same whether or not you're on NAN cloud or your self-hosted NAN through Hostinger. So you'll come here to create workflow. And what we're gonna do is click on add first step. Now for this one, we're gonna create a really simple one that 
connects to a Google Sheet and then sends an email. The first trigger we're gonna do is on form submission. So this is a really like useful one that I think is important to learn. So if we click on on form submission, it's gonna take you to this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a quick title, test form. We don't need a description. Let's do a bunch of form elements for this test form. So let's do first name. We're gonna have the element type as text. We're gonna click add form elements. Let's do last name, text, right? Let's add another one. Let's do email. So here for element type, we're gonna select email. Now let's do a different type. Let's do add form elements and let's say occupation. Instead of element type being text, we're gonna go to drop down list. And what we're gonna do is add different options that they can select. So first let's do student, engineer, and let's do one more. Let's add doctor. Super random, but just for demonstration purposes. And once we have that all filled out, we're gonna click on test step. It's gonna pop up this form so we can actually enter something. So let's go ahead and do my name. Let's do something, a test email, occupation. Let's select a student. We'll click on submit. Cool. So now that has been submitted, let's click out of it. And you can see that output has landed right here. We can always copy and paste this into our browser to access this form again. But really quickly, just to show you guys, this is the output, right? So this is the input. This is the output. And there are three different ways that it shows us the data. One is table. So of course, table like this. There's also JSON. So this is a little bit more complicated looking, but this is basically the language that NAN runs on. And there's also schema, which looks like this. So what we're gonna do when we're building this is click on this pin button right here. And again, I really encourage you do this alongside this because I'm gonna go through a lot of steps. It's very, very important that you actually do it yourself to actually learn. Otherwise, you're, there's no way you're gonna remember this. So we'll click on this pin button. The reason why we're going to do this is because it's going to allow us to test this entire workflow using this submitted data. So I'm not going to have to you know, enter in this information every single time I want to test it. Rather, it's going to use this pinned data right here. All right, so I'm going to click out of this and now let's click the first action step. So we're going to click on this plus button right here and let's actually search. So I'm going to search up sheets. So Google sheets. What we're going to do is we're going to put this information from that form directly into a Google Sheet. So uh, once we click on Google Sheets, you'll see that there are a bunch of different action types. We can create a spreadsheet, we can delete a spreadsheet, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on append or update row and sheet. This is by far the most useful one in my opinion. Let's click on this. So now it's gonna have us select our account. So since I've already connected my Google Sheets account, I have that right here. But if you have not yet done that, you'll want to create a new credential and do that. The only difference between NAN Cloud and your self-hosted NAN is that creating the credential can be a little bit different. It's a little bit more complicated with the self-hosted one, but there are tons and tons of tutorials showing you exactly how to do that. For resource, we're gonna keep it at sheet within document. Again, we're gonna have it append or update row. We can change this at any time, but that is essentially the operation. So since I've connected my account, I can actually see all of my documents here. Really quickly though, I'm gonna come here to Google Sheets create a new spreadsheet and we're gonna create the different columns. So let's do first name. We'll just make it exactly the same as what we put in the form, email, occupation. Okay, let's name it test spreadsheet one. Now that should show up right here. I'll select it. For the sheet, we'll go ahead and select sheet one, since so that's the only one. For the mapping, we're gonna, yes, map each column manually. And this part is actually pretty easy. You're just gonna drag and drop. So we're gonna drag this here. We're gonna drag last name here. We're gonna drag email to here, occupation right here. Cool. If you also want to add the time that the form is submitted, you can also do that as well. But just for simplicity, I'm just gonna leave it as these four values to send. Now coming back here to column to match on, I'm going to select your email address. The reason for this is because if someone enters in this form multiple times, of course, they're going to have the same email usually. And it's going to check for that, right? It's going to see, is this email the same? If it is, it's just going to update the existing row. That way it's not going to create a new row for someone that has the same email that submits it multiple times. So now that that is done, we're going to click on test step. As you can see, the output looks like this, which makes sense. And then if we come to our spreadsheet, sheet, you can see that information was filled out right here. First name, last name, email, and occupation were all automatically put into this sheet. Really, really cool, right? Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a filter and we're gonna click on this plus button. Let's search up filter. And this is gonna actually allow us to remove people that we don't want to actually, you know, move on to the next step. So 
for this one, we're gonna go by occupation, right? So let's go ahead and drag this to right here. And let's say we don't want to actually reach out to anyone that is a student because let's say they don't have money or something, right? So we want to only reach out if they are, what was it, a doctor or an engineer. So we'll go ahead and come here. Let's go to is not equal to, and then let's type in student. Now what is happening is it's only going to move the person on to the next step if they are not a student. So let's click on test step. And as you can see, if we go to discarded, you can see this person was discarded because they did not match this criteria. So that has worked out well. Now let's create a switch, which is also a pretty basic but useful thing. This basically allows us to have a multiple routes from what happened. So actually I'm gonna come back here. I'm going to test this again, unpin and test. And this time let's say I'm a, an engineer. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want it to actually go to the next step. Okay, so that's been updated here. I'm going to pin it. Now if we click on this, we're gonna execute the previous nodes. As you can see, it's gonna actually pass through this this time because it was not a student. We're gonna say occupation is equal to okay, engineer. That's gonna be one route. And we're gonna add another route. We're gonna do occupation is equal to all right, if we test the step, you can see this person that makes it through and it makes it through to this one because they are engineer. And now we have two different routes, right? So this is gonna go to two different actions. Now what I'm gonna do is have it email us. So we'll click on this plus button. We'll go to Gmail. We're gonna click on send a message. I've already connected my Gmail account, but you'll want to do that. Resource is message, operation is send. We'll send an email to just a test account. Hello, and then let's say we want the message to be engineer lead. Okay, looks good. What I'm gonna do is actually duplicate this. So I right clicked it, we'll click on duplicate and we'll actually just put this here, drag this to there. Now for this one, it's gonna be if they are a doctor, we're gonna have it be same thing and then we're just gonna say Dr. Lee. Okay, so now basically the logic is this. You're submitting a form, it gets updated to a Google Sheet. We're filtering, so we're gonna filter out people that we don't want to email. We're gonna have two different routes. We're gonna have one email that goes to us or to an email that says an engineer lead and then one that goes that says a doctor lead. After this, we're gonna merge these two because we want them to go back into one. So let's click on this plus. Let's search up merge. Okay, two inputs, a pen, good. Put that here and put this here. Now let's say we want to send out another email or something. We'll select Gmail again, sending a message. But of course you can choose whatever you want, right? I'm just doing this because I just want to use two different apps for this simple workflow that we're building. Let's say we have a different email that's called like leads or whatever, new lead. And then we'll say you have a new lead and we already messaged them. Cool, so we've built out this whole workflow. This is a very, very simple one, but it shows you a bunch of the different things you can do. And once you're ready to test the workflow, it's actually gonna go through all this, send out the email and then send out the second email. Yeah, basically the best way to learn NAN is to just build things and also to import templates and then set that up. That's also gonna help you understand what's happening in the workflow. So I really, really hope you guys can actually get your account started today. Again, I'll have a link down below if you wanna save some money on your NAN subscription. You should absolutely just self-host. Get a really affordable VPS, self-host it on there, and that's gonna save you 70, 80% on the cost. Again, I'll have a link to my favorite VPS that I personally use for my businesses. And it's exactly how I run all of my AI automations as well. There's also a lot of fabulous resources available on the NAN website. There's a big forum. There's a huge community on Discord. They have a bunch of good stuff under use cases. And of course there are tons of other videos that can get more in depth on all the features of NAN. But as a beginner, it's really important that you understand the whole overview, what is possible in the software. And so yeah, I really hope that this video was helpful. Regardless of how you set up NAN, either through their own cloud subscription or self-hosted on your own VPS, the amount of things you can automate within your life and business is absolutely insane. I really recommend taking some more time to learn about all the things you can automate. It's really fun. I'm still nerding out to this day. And yeah, share this video with a friend who is looking to get started with NAN. And if you found any value from it, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. I a ton of videos about entrepreneurship, AI, finance, side hustles, business, all things to help you live a financially successful life. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.